We were able to rescue a tiny baby squirrel from a ginormous trash pile. People are, I, I hate to say it, but people are disgusting. I mean, who dumps trash? I was just here right now looking in the trash. Oh, no, 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 where are you going? Come here, buddy. This little baby squirrel is abandoned here. He is just so skinny. Look at his tail right there. He's walking in circles. That is a sure sign that there is some sort of head trauma going around. Oh my gosh, this is a good sign. Look at that, he's peeing. This little guy right here is going absolutely crazy for this PD light. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now for today's video, it is both a happy one and a sad one. It is happy because we were able to rescue a tiny baby squirrel from a ginormous trash pile that I stopped at yesterday. And the reason why it's sad as well, I am almost 100% positive that this tiny little baby squirrel has some head trauma, it has some neurological problems. The neurological problems, in my opinion, are so bad that this little baby squirrel, I don't think is going to make it but anyways if you guys want to see what happened how we found the squirrel how it's doing now well guys you're going to have to stick along for today's video where we rescue this baby squirrel what's up guys i am down in homestead right now it's about to be sunset and it just rained down here and well i was driving past this trash pile and because it just rained well i decided well maybe i should actually check out this trash pile right here take a look at this trash pile we're gonna see if we can find some snakes now guys i'm sorry if the audio is not too great but I mean, when I mean windy, I mean it is just so incredibly windy and it is just gorgeous. I mean, look at that sunset right there. But yeah, what we're doing here today is it just rained. You can see there's a puddle right there. We're going to step over that puddle and we're going to kind of sift around in some of this trash right here. Now, it really is such a shame that people are dumping trash out here. I mean, look at this. It is so bad for our environment and animals, but you know, at least it's okay for snakes. So we're going to start right here with this right here. And I'm just, I honestly don't even want to touch this. I'm just going to use my foot and I can't even move that. All right. Yeah. Well, let's lift this up right here. Might be able to find some small snakes underneath that and nothing right there. Nothing. But as you can see, people are, I, I hate to say it, but people are disgusting. I mean, who dumps trash? There's couches, buckets, luggage. I think this is luggage. No, it's a speaker right there. I mean, it is really sick. The stuff that people dump down here. If anyone needs a mattress, holla back. We got a brand new mattress here for the low, only $20, let me know. But for real though, I think we might be able to find some sort of a snake, maybe a little corn snake, maybe a little yellow rat snake, guys. What do you guys think? Do you think I'm gonna find a snake here? Oh, this, this is creepy, this this is weird right here. Somebody dumped a, a, a baby's car seat. That's That's not weird at all. Guys, I was just here right now looking in the trash. Oh, no, 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 where are you going? No, 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 there's a baby squirrel right here. Oh my gosh, come here, buddy. Oh my gosh, guys. This little baby squirrel is abandoned here. Just found this in the trash pile. He's all wet, and it looks like this eye is injured. Look at that eye. He's holding that eye very funny, and look at this eye. You can see that eye is wide open and big. Look how skinny he is. Look, his tail should be fat and plump, and his tail is skinny. Oh my gosh, he's trying to nibble on my finger. He's so hungry. Hi, buddy. Comment down below if this little squirrel has rabies. He's biting me right now. No, I don't think he has rabies. But look at him. You know this squirrel is just absolutely starving. Look at him. He's just thinking that my finger is a nipple right now. Ow, buddy, you're hurting me. Look at those little teeth. I bet you his mom was up in these trees and, well, he must have fallen down. I mean, with how windy it is, it makes sense that he fell down. It's so windy out right now. And, and really what I think is he was up in these trees with his mom and he must have fell down. But, but he seems to be all right, guys. Go right now, guys. And comment down below a little prayer for him because he's very, very skinny. I mean, just look at him. We're gonna we're gonna put him on this couch right here for now. A nice cushioned couch so we can see him. Are you okay, buddy? Guys, he is just so skinny. Look at his tail right there. His tail should be nice and fat. And does he have neurological damage? He's walking in circles. Guys, this is not good. Look at him. He's walking in circles. That is a sure sign that there is some sort of head trauma going around. Oh my gosh, buddy. Are you okay, dude? Look at him. He's walking in circles, guys. When an animal walks in circles like that, it is a sign of one of two things. It's a sign of one, rabies, and two, neurological head damage, meaning he hit his head very hard and it jolted his brain. And this little guy right here could have permanent brain damage from this. I mean, look at him, look at him. He's walking in circles right now. I'm so sorry. All right, come here, buddy, come here. Well, guys, um, we're, we're gonna take him right now. We're gonna try to call the wildlife rehabber. I mean, it's late right now. It's about 6.30 at night, and I don't know if they're gonna be open, but I'm glad we were able to save this little guy. I'm so sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry this happened. 
Well, guys, um, I'm gonna call the wildlife rehab right now, and I will be back with all of you once I hear back from him. I just called the wildlife rehabber and well there was no answer and it is late it's about 6 30 p.m. so we've got our little baby hungry squirrel right here so until we hear back from the wildlife rehabber well we're gonna take him to the house we're going to properly hydrate him because if we don't do so I don't think he's gonna make it he has head problems here you go little buddy I have a nice little towel right here for him I don't have a container for him but look he's just walking in circles I don't think he's gonna make it he definitely has something you know neurologically wrong with him it's so so sad so guys again Go comment down below for a little prayer for this little squirrel while we drive home and well, it's time to head on out. One hour later. Guys, we just got here to my grandma's house. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm literally gonna use my knee and knock, knock, knock. I'm gonna knock on the door. Oh my gosh, this little guy must be hungry. And there Hannah is. Wow, that that was quick. Oh, look at that. We have the little squirrel here, Hannah. You, you, you take him, you take him, Hannah. Hannah is the one that's gonna, you know, be helping this little guy out until the wildlife rehabber answers if we were to you know leave this squirrel outside he would most certainly die he's got head neurological problems hannah you got to see the problems that he has once we get inside. inside let's take him inside and then we've got a whole bunch of stuff in here i mean everywhere you go in here i mean there's like a little pig right here look at this little guy oh my gosh we have the squirrel here on the table and i wanted just to show hannah what was wrong with it as you can see the squirrel mm -hmm. is walking in circles and this is just not good at all. Hannah, what do you think that this is? This is definitely some brain problems you can tell because it's just, this is what they do when their brain is messed up and they have neurological problems. Yeah, that's exactly what they do. So with this little guy right here, I mean, even when he goes to the wildlife rehabber, it's quite unlikely that he's going to survive just because of this head trauma. He'll never be able to survive in the wild and find food. We're going to try everything in our power to save this squirrel and hopefully make him better or at least comfort him for you know the last little part of his life if he is not going to make it so what we have to do first is we have to check if he's dehydrated we have to get a proper weight on him and then we also have to hydrate this squirrel because since the wildlife rehabber is not answering the phone right now and hannah has a scale right here we're gonna put this little guy on the scale based on his weight is how much food you'll give the little squirrel oh my gosh this is a good sign look at that he's peeing you can see that there's just little droplets of pee right there that's actually a great sign wow that's good Look at that, but but the, the twirling is just not good at all. Again, guys, go and comment down below a little prayer for the squirrel. So we have our scale right here, and we're gonna put this guy in in three, two, one. How much does he weigh? He weighs about 67 grams right there. 66, 67 grams is what he weighs. I mean, this is just one adorable little squirrel. So Hannah, pinch the back of his neck and see if he is dehydrated. Let's see, so with animals, if you pinch the back of their neck, if the skin stays up, they're dehydrated. See, if the it's skin, like it's a little dehydrated. dehydrated. Yeah. Yeah, so if you look right there, she's pinching the skin up, and it's not really pinching, it's pulling the skin up slightly. You see it's if you see that skin right there, it stays up, that, that means it is dehydrated. If the skin goes down quick, that means it is hydrated. So I mean, the only thing that we can do now is give it some Pedialyte. Pedialyte will help hydrate it. Hannah is getting the Pedialyte right over there, and since I told her we had the little squirrel coming, well, she has this little thing already set up for it, so we have a nice little carrier for it. We have warm water bottles on either side, so this squirrel can maintain a good body temperature because, well, if the squirrel's not maintaining a good body temperature, well, that means that it could die a lot faster because when these animals are young, they can't really produce their own body heat all that well. This right here is Pedialyte. This is an electrolyte solution. This is actually what a lot of athletes used to help keep themselves hydrated and when you have baby animals that are dehydrated well this is the exact stuff that we use so hannah already has a nice little syringe and a nice little bit of this pedialyte there so we're just going to take a little bit of this pedialyte in there just so we can make sure that this little squirrel is nice and hydrated he is so cute now i don't think i've asked you guys yet but guys, go comment down below a little name for this rescued squirrel because this little guy is so incredibly adorable. I mean, just his little face right there. I mean, that is his eye that's a little bit messed up. And just look at those little squirrel hands. I mean, it, I mean, it really does not get much cuter than that. And of course, you have his fluffy tail. Now, Hannah, do you think he's a little underweight? He, his tail looks really skinny. What do you think? He just looks very scrawny. You can see that his head is really big compared to his body. That could be from the head trauma body. But we don't know. The squirrel has been taking the Pedialyte. I mean, as you can see, it has a ferocious appetite. This little guy right here is going absolutely crazy for this Pedialyte. Hannah, are we almost done with the Pedialyte? Has it taken it all? Yeah, it's almost done. Almost done with the Pedialyte. 
This little scroll right here has been nice and hydrated. So the only thing left to do is put it in the little carrier until we hear from the wildlife rehabber. Hannah, you want to put him in there so he can get a nice little nap? Yes. All right, right awesome. Here. The little squirrel is inside of its carrier, and well, what we're going to do, because this little guy can climb if he wants, we're just going to take this right here, and we're just going to zip it on shut. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's squirrel rescue. It is both happy and sad because we were able to rescue the squirrel, but it is sad because it is most likely not going to make it. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and make sure to go comment down below a little prayer for this squirrel. And guys, if you are not subscribed yet, you want to see more squirrels, tigers, lions, monkeys, all kinds of crazy animals. Well, what are you waiting for? Go right now and hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell and you all will be notified whenever I post.